right, tonight, got something super, super special for you. This is a discontinued toy that was interactive in the parks, and his name was Pal Mickey. And this was a program at Disney World that had 400 infrared sensors. And if you actually notice on the back of this guy, there's all this wiring and tech that's in there. So this had all this sensor equipment. It also has an on and off switch, but it has this sensor equipment that would tell you all sorts of fun facts around the four parks of Walt Disney World. So this guy, Pal Mickey, and he has a little clip. He is kind of big in comparison to, you know, let's look at a wishable. So an Oogie Boogie wishable. I mean, he's pretty sizable. He's probably about 18 inches, especially with this hat. Now, they did have three different versions of him, and this started back out in, I believe it was 2004. And they had five years where they sold him. He was $50, or you could rent him in the parks for $8 a day. And throughout the parks, there was 400 infrared sensors that were hidden and he would tell you about all these fun facts in the parks. So, uh, oh, dude, thank you so much. Yeah, this is our uh, annual snack holder. Somebody on TikTok just said they liked the shirt. Thank you so much, super appreciate it. But he had different outfits. So this actually comes off and it's just regular Mickey pants are underneath. So this is like the Sorcerer Mickey one, which uh, this is the last or third final version, which had some updates to him. And this hat actually comes off as well. He had a, like a rain slicker poncho outfit. He had a pin trader outfit. And all the all the outfits go for like 50 bucks on eBay. Now, I really lucked out because these typically will go anywhere between $27 all the way up to $50. And this one, the version three, which came out uh, at the, it was I think it was before 2010, the, the last version of this came out. These usually go for at that higher price point, that $50 price point. So I, I really lucked out. I got it for 18 bucks. This was a steal. Nobody else was looking at it. And he is in absolute perfect condition. I'll zip him up. And just takes regular, you know what? I don't know what kind of batteries because it came with fresh batteries. I'm thinking it's probably a double A. I don't know. I'll have to unscrew it and look. It looks like if it does, because the battery compartment's all the way down here, it's probably three double A's. Because he's got a pretty decent amount of speakers. Now, some other functions of Mickey before I press him, and you can start seeing some of like the language and things that he talks about. I'll turn down my Frontierland music. He has a sensor in each hand. Uh, the earlier versions, version one and two, had a little press here button, but version three did not. So. They have two actuators, one in each hand, and then one in his stomach. Why is that important? Well, you can actually take quizzes. So Mickey will ask questions, and I'll have you guys interact here since we're live. Uh, and you can give, oh, dude, tell me about it, man. It, this this was a steal. So Paging Mr. Morrow uh, just said $18 is a steal. You are totally right, brother. Totally right. And uh, super appreciate it. And I definitely am going to take this to the parks with us because although they discontinued the program in 2014, this still exists, the infrared sensors. Now they don't update them or change them. So there's a lot of like older trivia fun facts. And when he goes around uh, any of the new attractions like Seven Dwarfs Mine Train will not have any kind of information on it. But I think he'll still work in the parks. I'm gonna do a bunch of YouTube videos with this but I'm super, super stoked. Yo, what's up, James? What's cracking, dude? Thanks for coming in. Uh, what do we got in TikTok? My sister has it. It was such a cool idea. I agree. I didn't know this exists. I'm a huge Disney plush fan. I mean, this is a whole entire tub of wishables, which uh, I just found out today is July 8th. Wishables are going up in price. They normally were $9.99 or with our, our annual pass discount, you would get them for $2 off with 20% off. So eight bucks, they're, they've gone up to $12.99. Oof, show me there's inflation without showing me there's inflation. So crazy, crazy um, times for plushes. But yeah, this is, this is a steal, super, super big steal, which is awesome. So, all right, let's get into it. I know you guys wanna hear them. So uh, 
I think the infrared sensors do still work and he does just automatically talk. So that's the whole purpose of the clip is you're supposed to like clip them to a bag or clip them to your clothes. And he just has a sensor up here in his nose and he'll pick up the infrared. But when you're at home, they still wanted you to be able to play with them. That's why there's different outfits to change out because he's got his, his regular Mickey gear underneath. I love this Sorcerer Mickey one, so I'm not taking that off. And plus, it's kind of like Disney magic, right? Uh, but you can press his hands. What do you call Pluto after he sits in front of a campfire? A hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> and for those that don't know, I'm like a huge dad joke fan. These are right up my alley. They're ridiculous and uh, just super, super funny. Uh, they're cheesy as anything. It's classic Disney, which is great. That thing would be killer for stroller entertainment. Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking is when we go, the girls will be able to listen to this thing as we walk around the parks and they'll have a lot of fun. So had to go on YouTube and say hi. Yeah, dude, totally appreciate it. Uh, he still does work in the park, supposedly. So even though this stopped in 2014, apparently it works in the parks. And yeah, sadly, Zoom Zooms are gone, but... Numios are, are around if you're into them and they just went up in price. I think they were uh, I think they were $17.99 and now they're $19.99. So the plushes are going up in price. All right, let's let's hear him say something else. Hopefully he does a quiz and I'll show you how the quizzes work. Gosh, sure I'm glad I got a friend like you. Oh, that's just nice of you. Thank you, Mickey. Ready for a quick quiz? Who just can't wait to be king? Simba! Gaston, bashful, Simba. Hmm. Who can't Gaston. wait to be king? Simba, Gaston, bashful. or bashful? So this if you is. You want me to repeat the question? Squeeze my tummy. So I can have him repeat the question, which I'll do to stall for time. Where's his stomach? Hey, wanna play a game? If you do, just squeeze one of my hands. Where do I, where and do I my press tummy. his? I don't know if I've what ever. What did Eeyore say? Oh, it's up here. It's like it's not really his tummy. It's like way up no, here. Thanks. I'm sort of stuffed right now. <laughs> <laughs> Was that Winnie the Pooh joke? I missed it. All right. So on the quizzes, when you click his his uh, hands, it'll it'll give you choice A, choice B, or choice C. So each one of his hands, and it kind of goes left to right. Uh, so his right hand will be choice A. Choice B is his stomach, and choice C is his other hand. So you can answer the actual quizzes, which I think is is super cool. So, all right, let's click this again and see what we got. Ready for a quick quiz? Who bit into a poison apple? Sleeping Beauty. Cinderella. Snow White. Sleeping uh, Beauty. Ooh, tough one, right? Who is Cinderella. it? Cinderella. Snow White. Snow White. So let's. If you want me to repeat the question, squeeze my tummy. Gosh, have you read Buzz Lightyear's new book about anti gravity? You can't put it down. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. It skipped over the. Here, I'm going to like. I guess it, maybe I'm not pressing hey, pal, it. I feel a song coming on. Oh, he's going to sing. sing. one line and you see if you know the next one. If you want me to sing it for you, squeeze my tummy. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> Here we go. There's so much that we share that it's time we're aware. It's a small world after all. <laughs> I, dude, I can't get enough of this thing. This is like the coolest little fun hey, toy. Pal, I feel a song coming on. Oh, another song. I'll sing one line and you see if you know the next one. If you want me to sing it for you, squeeze my tummy. Are you ready? <laughs> Here we go. There's so much that we share that it's time we're aware. Didn't we just get that one? It's a small world after all. Oh, okay. So, listen, there's no instructions on this, and you can't find, like, a manual online. So I guess you can move forward in the sequence by pressing his, his tummy. So I'm glad this button works, too. I don't know if this hand works. Ready for a quick quiz? Okay, Who it does work. It's tough to be a bug. It's tough to be a bug. Who says it? Flick. Stitch. Rafiki. Flick, Stitch, Flick. or Rafiki. Stitch. Rafiki. Hmm, tough to be a bug. If you want me to repeat the question, squeeze my tummy. So let's 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 mess this one up. Where am I pressing? No white fish are so smart, because they spend their whole lives in schools. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. 
I so I can't well, clearly do this backwards. All right, here we go. When he was camping, he didn't want to wake up the sleeping bags. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to wake up the sleeping bags. All right, hang on, hang on. Let's try to get to another quiz, and I, I want to get one wrong so you guys see for a quick how quiz? it's like when he gets it wrong. How many floors are in the Hollywood Tower Hotel? Ooh. Thirteen. Ten. Eleven. Thirteen. All right, let's do his. I'm going to still do this. Wow, one. you're pretty good at this. Okay. I, of course, I get it right. Oh, gosh. I sure am having fun today. Thanks for spending the day with me, pal. <laughs> Say, uh, want to play a game? If you do, just squeeze one of my hands and my tummy. Say, pal, know what kind of music they listen to on other planets? Neptunes. <laughs> <Get> Neptunes. <laughs> no, dude, that's a good Sunny Eclipse Aww. joke. Neptunes? Ready yeah. for a quick quiz? Okay. How many stepsisters does Cinderella have? Two. Three. Four. All right. Two. How many stepsisters does Cinderella have? Two. Three. Four. Ooh, almost. Oh, so he says almost, like, I got it wrong. Do I get to answer again? Why did Woody give oh, no, he moves on. cough syrup? Because he was a little horse. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that one before. Why did uh, Woody um, give Bullseye a little cough syrup? Because he was a little horse. Ready for a quick quiz? Which of these folks is not one of Donald's nephews? Huey. Dewey. Fooey. Fluey. Huey. So here's what's weird. Really? If you press his stomach, really? it repeats Which the question, but one of that's one of the Matthews. answers could be the, the center one. Really? There must be another really? place you press. Really? Really? Which of these folks is not one of Donald's nephews? Yeah, because it just keeps really? repeating. Is there another place really? to press him? Really? Is it his foot? Really? No, it's not his really? nose. Where else do you press? Which of these folks? No, maybe you have to press like his hand and something at the same time. Huey, which of these folks is not one of Donald's nephews? Who almost? What great big mountain in Asia stays up all night? Mount never rest. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one for an Everest joke. What's a, a mountain in Asia that never goes to sleep? Mount never rest. <laughs> Dude, this is really cool. Uh, so I'm super excited to see whether or not uh, he's going to still work in the parks. I did find a YouTube video, um, but it was all the way back in 2017, and it's not really good quality. So the audio is not very good, and it's really grainy. So I want I being a history backgrounds, being somebody who wants to like kind of remember the parks uh, and things that they've done in the past to like relive the magic. I want to capture as much as I can with him just for like nostalgic archival purposes so that once it's on YouTube, it can be utilized um, in the future, which I think would be super, super cool. Hang on. Let me catch up on some of these. Yes. Uh, good call, James. So uh, this Sunday at what time are we doing this, James? Uh, we're going to do uh, the history of the Haunted Mansion on Mouse Ears and Magic podcast, which is on YouTube, and you can find him everywhere else that streams. Um, and you can follow him on all the social media channels as well. But, yeah, I get to co-host a podcast about Disney history. So the very fitting, uh, being a historian and wanting to archive all these great memories from the past. Sorry, I keep looking down because I'm reading comments both on my laptop, which is lower, and then right in front of me is our uh, our camera setup for TikTok as well. So I apologize. I'm kind of like doing double service. If you're on YouTube, I'm looking down. If I'm on uh, on YouTube, I'm looking up. So or TikTok looking down, YouTube looking up. This was just how he was in the park too. He ended up not taking him anymore. Yeah, like I think. So I got to figure out how to answer the middle question, right? So like the hands are over here. Uh, you know, I can try to Google it real quick. Uh, has anybody seen all the food and wine fest stuff? Because food and wine is coming out 
pretty soon, July 15th is the start of food and wine. Also, if you're like me and you like usable history, like this is usable functional history. It's really fun anyway. The kids will have a good time. If it works with the infrared, oh my gosh, that's this is the best $18 ever just for some fun. This is another usable functional uh, piece of art or history. This is a Walt Disney World mug that has all these really, really cool scenes on it. So it has uh, Astro Orbiter, uh, the Liberty Bell, Pirates. It also has defunct rides. So there's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, Tomorrowland Speedway, uh, Jungle Cruise, Haunted Mansion, uh, the Country Bears. You got Big Al there. Uh, and then there's even a Alice in Wonderland with the White Rabbit, which I thought was really cool. But I, I think I got this for $4 and then like $2 shipping. It's called a thermo serve. Uh, and it keeps stuff really cold. It's this like just plastic handled mug and it's big. Like this can hold easily 20 ounces of liquid. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's totally old school. Uh, do you guys want to see guilty pleasure? Let me let me show you this guilty pleasure. I purchased this. I showed it on another live, but uh, I'm going to be drinking out of this for our, our Haunted Mansion. So James, I'm kind of spoiling it here, but I picked up a from Trader Sam's Disneyland edition. This is the second version. So it says it on the bottom, second version, Trader Sam's. Uh, this is the Hatbox Ghost, which there's multiple versions of this. Disney World had one version, actually had two versions. Also an ornament was made of this. Uh, and then there's a version where his face is out of the hat box and then the coloration and the glazing is different. Uh, it's really sizable. Like this is a big, big mug in comparison to this one. Remember, this is 20 ounces. Like it's a very, very tall, robust, big, wide mouth uh, tiki mug. And I, I love tiki mugs, especially ones from like great places like Trader Sam's. So I will be using this for our Haunted Mansion. Once again, functional history, functional things. Um, to me, usable stuff, wearable stuff, hats. I love all that old school like this MGM hat, because y'all know we still call it MGM around here. I thought I brought out my, looking all over, I thought I brought out my old school Magic Kingdom hat. It might be upstairs. And then people who follow me on TikTok, here is that great find. I was dying to uh, buy these when they were during uh, Festival of the Arts in Epcot earlier this year. Uh, it's this four plate series. So it has Snow White, Pinocchio, Fantasia, and my favorite are the three Caballeros. This was in Disney, $39.99, right? Which I don't think is a horrible price. And with an annual pass holder discount of 20%, not too terrible. But I found this not for $39.99, but I found it for the amazing price of $8. 99 so 899 and where was it from burlington so if you remember burlington coat factory they have a ton of disney park stuff but you got to be willing to go to multiple locations because it all varies you can sometimes find ears you can sometimes find ponchos there's so much stuff that you can check out so maybe his feet right carrie carrie from cosplay cooking show or cosplay kitchen depending on where you're following her, she suggests that maybe his feet, let me, I don't feel anything in his feet. Let me, let me Google. I'm going to put up Frontierland music a little bit louder so we can listen to some jams while I type in Pal Mickey manual and see if anybody has one uploaded. Pal Mickey instructions on the Diz boards. Who knows? Maybe somebody from the Diz has one. Good resource. I used to use this a lot. Uh, I found this one, one link if it opens, which by the way, if you haven't used, uh, like if there's a hey, website, pal, I feel a song coming on. Oh. I'll sing one line and you see if you know the next one. Go if for it, dude. you want me to sing it for you, squeeze my tummy. Are you ready? <laughs> Here we go. Zippity doo da, zippity hey. My oh my, what a wonderful day. <laughs> my oh my, what a wonderful day. Man, 
Pretty cool. He sings a little Splash Mountain action. Clearly, before uh, 2020, this was made. <laughs> Otherwise, pff, you can't be singing that song. Crazy. All right, hang on. Instructions. Uh, Intercot. Well, I've never heard of this website. Intercot. Oh, it shows. Hang on, hang on. This is really interesting. Um, I'm going to switch on StreamYard. I'm going to put myself next to this so I can share the screen. So you guys can get a, you can see this, uh, this instruction manual because it actually shows all the places that he has locations where he would talk. Right, I want to show a Chrome tab, Mickey Pal instructions. Okay. Wait, is that the one I want to show? Do I want to show? No, I don't want to show the Disboards one, but I did find the link on this Disboards one. Let me stop share, share again. And so this is on YouTube too right now. So my wife still has ride stubs from when she first went. Oh yeah, for sure. And James, you mentioned maybe his hat. Well, the problem is this is just an outfit, right? So I'll show you what he looks like without the hat. So he had several different outfits. Oh, this one's actually attached. All right, that's cool. I'm not gonna take this. It has like one of those tabs, secure, like safety tabs. Um, but you can see that's him without his hat. So there's nothing in his hat. It's just all felt and whatnot. Um, it does have cool little cutouts for his ears though, which is cool. I like that. Does anybody remember when MGM had the sorcerer hat right in front of the great movie ride? And yeah, like his, his oh, his pants have a little, a little hole for his tail, but his, his pants come off and he has his regular red shorts underneath. I don't want to take them off because I just know it'd be a hassle to put them back on. And then you can take his shirt off. So, all right, hang on. Chrome tab. And we're going to share this intercot. And then I'll, I'll talk about it for people on TikTok who are looking. So there, there was Pal Mickey is an interactive tour guide, which tells you about the theme parks show times. So, you could get show times from him, obviously not relevant now. So when they discontinued in 2014, uh, like show times and stuff like that, you couldn't get that from him. But like, how cool would it have been? You could have found out from Mickey when you're, when Fantasmic was playing or something. He shares character information, tells jokes and plays games. He costs $65. So at the very end, he was, he was costing 65 bucks. Uh, plus tax. The toy was available for purchase at select sites in the four Disney parks, as well as in the resorts. There was also a Spanish speaking version of Pal Mickey available at the following locations, Main Street Cinema, Magic Kingdom, Dark Room, MGM Studios, Camera Center in Epcot, Disney Outfitters in Disney's Animal Kingdom, and Once Upon a Toy in Downtown Disney Marketplace. You can already tell this is old school because they're talking about Downtown Disney uh, marketplace, which is funny. Uh, James, you're welcome for that little mouse hiney. <laughs> uh, interactive locations. There are a ton. I'm going to rattle through these really, really quick. Spaceship Earth. So we're at Epcot. Spaceship Earth, Interventions, obviously defunct. Uh, Test Track, World Showcase, Future Worlds, Mission Space, Fountain of Nations, Land Pavilion, Journey into the Imagination with Figment, Honey, I Shrunk the Audience, Universe of Energy, Bye Bye Ellen, and dinos, Mexican Pavilion, Norway Pavilion, Maelstrom, Maelstrom. <gasps> You're telling me we would go on to Frozen and it would give us Maelstrom facts? That might be, oh, that's so nostalgic and awesome. Uh, China, Germany, Italy, America, Japan, Morocco, France, United Kingdom, Canada, Illuminations, which I wonder where that would go off because that would be a tough, tough spot to interact. Um, World Showcase Character Greetings and World Showcase Entertainment Offerings, which is a little bit little bit vague. And then Dolphin and Cuttlefish at the Living with the Seas, which also, again, defunct and rebranded. At Disney's MGM Studios, let's rattle these off again. Crossroads, Sunset Boulevard, Animation Studio. Oh, by Animation Studio. I love that. Uh, great movie ride. Sorcerer's Hat, so boom, boom, they might still exist somewhere. Uh, that would be interesting. Gertie the Dinosaur has one. Very cool. Probably talk about like California sideshow attractions and being able to do it. That would be amazing. Oh, I know. Honey, I Shrunk the Audience was incredible. Um, 
All right. Uh, do, 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 do. Indiana Jones, Star Tours, Muppet Vision 3D, Al's Toy Barn, New York Street, Catastrophe Canyon, aw, RIP, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids movie set, Playhouse Disney, Voyage of the Little Mermaid, One Man's Dream, Backlot Tour, aw, Beauty and the Beast, Sorcerer's Hat, Character Meetings, Fantasmic, Mickey Avenue, Character Greetings. Where was Mickey Avenue in Hollywood Studios or MGM? I don't know. Uh, Animal Kingdom attractions, Harambe Village, Pangani Trail, Rafiki's Planet Watch, Kilimanjaro Safaris, Dino Land, Boneyard, Dinosaur, Primeval World, Dinorama, Discovery Island, Tough to Be a Bug, Tree of Life, Maharaja Jungle Track, Cali River Rapids, uh, Flights of Wonder, Island Mercantile, Mickey's Jammin' Jungle Parade, and Character Landing Meet and Greets. The good thing is, like, all the Animal Kingdom ones are pretty much there, still intact, no changes. Magic Kingdom, it's the Walt Disney World Railroad, wah, wah. But maybe in the train station, I'd have to look. It's kind of like one of those, like, fine seek and finds. Uh, Space Mountain, Stitch's Great Escape, which that might still be there. It might be in, because... Even though it's defunct, that infrared sensor might be in the front queue area. So maybe we'll get lucky there. Astro Orbiter, Buzz Lightyear. I'm going to have to print all these out and check. And I don't even know how they go off. Like, I think it's proximity and infrared. Like, does he have to see it? I don't know. Because infrared, isn't that like sensors, like a remote control? So it's not like proximity driven, like a Wi-Fi or a Bluetooth or RFID. So... I might have to physically like find and point his nose at these attractions, which would be kind of interesting. All right. Uh, the Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, Cinderella Castle, Mad Tea Party, Buzz Lightyear, Goopy's Barnstormer, Snow White Scary Adventures. Ah, I wonder if that would be still there. That would be really cool at like Princess Hall if that still existed somewhere. Mickey's Fill Our Magic, Cinderella's Golden Carousel, which is now, it's not called Cinderella's Golden Carousel. It's Prince Charming's Carousel. Peter Pan's Flight, Haunted Mansion, Diamond Horseshoe, which I've never eaten at Diamond Horseshoe. It's the only restaurant I have not eaten at in Magic Kingdom. Um, so I look forward and hope that that opens up, but they're using it as over uh, overspill for Liberty Tree Tavern. Liberty Square Riverboat, Country Bear Jamboree, Tom Sawyer Island, Splash Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, Pirates of the Caribbean, Jungle Cruise, Swiss Family Treehouse, Adventureland, Character Greetings, uh, Castle Show, Dreams Come True Parade, Toontown character, RIP Toontown. But yeah, I don't know. Super interesting. He was great for queue times on main attractions, Splash Mountain, Tower of Terror. Uh, the only problem is he tells you once you are in the area. So like you wouldn't know until you got there close. I would recommend Pal Mickey to everyone as someone who goes to Disney every few years, knows my way around, but it gives you a different dimension to the vacation. So that's my thought process with this is he's going to add another layer to our vacation by adding like a cool, fun, interactive way when we're in the parks. And it'll be fun to like search as a scavenger hunt for the places where the infrared goes. So we will see how this operates. I'm going to have to look online for more because this isn't this isn't really an instruction manual. Games are for PM. That is not for here. Games consist of Mickey naming a park and then saying rides or places. If the park he said, you press his hand or tummy and he keeps score. But the repeat is if you touch his tummy. I don't know if you touch his tummy and a hand at the same time. Mickey says, press his tummy. And if he doesn't, Mickey says, all right, I don't understand that. Mickey says, you press his tummy. If PM says, Mickey says. I don't know what that means. The games are for PM. For Pal Mickey. The games for Pal Mickey. That's what he's. So guessing game, fast friends, which Mickey names a friends, listing characters, and you press the hand or tell me to score points. Mickey says, um, but don't say it if Mickey doesn't say Mickey says. Oh, it's like a Simon Says game. Got it. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. His tummy's like malfunctioning. I'll, I'll have to try again. This time, you know what I'm going to do? Let me stop the screen share. And I'm going to attempt another one, but I'm going to look at him. So I know you're going to look at the back of his head, and I'm sorry, but I want to I want to try to see if I can do this right and pick an answer that's on his stomach and hope he doesn't just repeat the questions endlessly. Ready for a quick quiz? Who helps Peter Pan and his friends to fly? Tink 
Peter Bell, Dumbo, Owl, so, Peter Bell. So let's try to answer Dumbo as Dumbo in the center on his Owl. stomach. I'm going to press. Who helps Peter Pan and his friends to fly? Now that was a quick press. Maybe I have Peter to do a long Bell. press. Who helps Peter Pan and nope, his friends to fly? Nope, he keeps repeating it. Where else would I touch? Peter Bell, Dumbo, like, Owl. Poor Mickey. Who helps Peter Pan and his friends to fly? Tinkerbell. Good going. Now, Tinkerbell, obvious answer. You can feel what right you here Pluto on the... After he sits in front of a campfire. A hot dog. <laughs> That's a repeat joke. All right, so his hands, you can feel them. They're like right where the, the ridges are, or where the press points. There's nothing right here, nothing right here, nothing right here on his glove. It's all right where these strips are. And then his entire chest plate right here above the buttons is a, a giant square. Gosh, sure I'm glad I got a friend like you. Well, thank you, Mickey. Ready for a quick quiz? I Where am. Can you see monkeys with long black and white hair. Maharaja Jungle Trek. Mangani Forest Exploration Trail. Kilimanjaro Safari. I love this. This is a great Maharaja question. Maharaja Jungle Trek. Hangani Forest Exploration Trail. Kilimanjaro Safaris. This is Maharaja Jungle Trek. Oh, almost. Really? What? Say, what what is it, Kandani? If you do, just squeeze one of my hands and my tummy. Squeeze one of my hands and my tummy at the same time? <laughs> that sort of tickles. Okay, so which game do you want to play? Ooh. If you want to play that, isn't here. Squeeze my left hand. To play Mickey Says, squeeze my tummy. And to play Fast Friends, squeeze my right hand. Ooh, this is like we're unlocking the games. Okay, so let's do, let's Wanna do. Play Mickey Says? Mickey it's Says. It's easy. It's just like Simon Says, except you're playing with me instead of Simon. So when I say, Mickey Says, squeeze my left hand, you squeeze my left hand. Or if I say, Mickey Says, squeeze my tummy, you squeeze my tummy. But if I say, squeeze my tummy, without saying Mickey says, oh. then don't squeeze my tummy. Ready? Let's see how you do. Mickey says, squeeze my tummy. All right, squeezing. <laughs> Mickey says, squeeze my left hand. Hmm, not quite. Try again. Uh, oh, I'm doing squeeze it backwards. Squeeze my tummy. I'm not Come squeezing on. your tummy. Mickey says, squeeze my right hand. Okay, his right hand. <laughs> Mickey says, squeeze my tummy. <laughs> Squeeze my left hand. Nope, not doing it, Mickey. <laughs> Squeeze my tummy. Yep, almost got me. <laughs> Squeeze my right hand. Nope. <laughs> Mickey says, "Squeeze my left hand." Got ya. <laughs> Mickey says, "Squeeze my tummy." <laughs> Squeeze my left hand. Nope, we're gonna have to <laughs> obviously lose here Squeeze in a second. Squeeze my right hand. Mickey says, squeeze my left hand. <laughs> Mickey says, squeeze my right hand. Oh, almost. Keep trying. Squeeze my left hand. All right, let's lose. Gotcha. <laughs> I didn't say Mickey says. Mickey says, squeeze my right hand. Oh, almost. Try again. Mickey says, squeeze my left hand. <laughs> Mickey says, squeeze my tummy. <laughs> Mickey says, squeeze my right hand. Oh. Almost! Try again! Squeeze my tummy! Oops! I didn't say Mickey says! Gosh, Cal, you got 14 right! Oh, if wow! want to play again, Whoa. just squeeze my tummy. If you want to play a different game, squeeze my hand. Or, if you don't want to play anymore, squeeze both my hands. Wow, that's if you awesome! Play, that isn't here! Squeeze my left hand! All okay, right. want to play fast, friends? This is how it goes. I'll say the names of some of our friends. And when I say Goofy, squeeze my left hand. If I say a different name, squeeze my tummy. Ready? Here we go. Pegasus. Oh, almost. Try again. Oh, wait. Ratcliffe. <laughs> Ursula. <laughs> Bashful. <laughs> Goofy. You're doing great. Now, when I say Donald, squeeze my right hand. And don't forget, when I say Goofy, you still squeeze my left hand. If I say anybody else, squeeze my tummy. Ready? Here we go. Sim. 
Rumbum. Ah, Goofy. Ah, Goofy. <laughs> Grumpy. Ah, Goofy. You're doing swell. Now it's even trickier. When I say Minnie, squeeze my left hand. And when I say Donald, squeeze my right hand. If I say anybody else, squeeze my tummy. Ready? Here we go. Goofy. <laughs> Goofy. <laughs> Minnie. <laughs> Dumbo. <laughs> Cinderella. You're doing great. Now it's really tricky. When I say the name of a villain, squeeze my left hand. And when I say the name of someone who can fly, squeeze my right hand. If I say anybody else, squeeze my tummy. Ready? Here we go. Simba. Ooh, almost. Try again. Owl. Now remember, when I say oh, the name of Oh, you really of have to villain, do this fast. Oh, my, my gosh. Hand. And when I say the name of someone who can fly, squeeze my right hand. If I say anybody like else, squeeze my tummy. Gaston. Ooh, almost. Try again. Pegasus. <laughs> Dumbo. <laughs> oh boy, you got 16 right. Wow, you're really good oh at this. Oh my gosh, that was if you hard. Want to play a game, that was really <laughs> hard. Squeeze my tummy. If you want to play a different game, squeeze my hand. Or if you don't want to play anymore, All right, let's play the last game. Both my hands. If you want to play that isn't here, squeeze my left hand. To play Mickey says, squeeze my tummy. And to play right. best friend, we're going to do the last my game. Right hand. Okay, ready to play that isn't here? This is how it goes. I'll say the names of some places and things. If that place or thing is here in Epcot, squeeze my hand. If it isn't here in Epcot, squeeze my tummy. Ready? Let's see how you do. Okay. Triceratops spin. <laughs> Mission space. <laughs> Honey, I shrunk the audience. How about this one? Spaceship Earth. <laughs> Pangani Forest Exploration Trail. <laughs> the Tree of Life. <laughs> Honey, I shrunk the audience. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> Test track. <laughs> Fantasmic. Wow, you're pretty good at this. Mission space. <laughs> Maelstrom. <laughs> Living seas. <laughs> Indiana Jones stunt spectacular. <laughs> Innoventions. <laughs> Tarzan rocks. <laughs> Tally River Rapids. Wow, you're pretty good at this. Kilimanjaro safaris. Wow, you're pretty good at this. Innoventions. <laughs> the American Adventure. Wow, you're pretty good at this. Hot dog, you got 20. Wow, you got them all right. Do you want to play again? <laughs> Just squeeze my tummy. If you want to play a different game, squeeze my hand. Or if you don't want to play anymore, squeeze both my hands. Both hands. <laughs> oh, gosh. That, wow. So... I like the it's not here game. That's super cool. But you have to put yourself in the mindset of somebody who's in, you know, you're talking about the early 2000s, you know, like 2004. So when things like Interventions or Maelstrom gets mentioned, which I love that Maelstrom's getting mentioned, it's like pure nostalgic because I just grew up. I was born in 1984 and just feels like when I was a kid, when I was at Disney. Justin, what's up, dude? I'm playing with Pal Mickey, the defunct, but apparently still has 400 transmitters all over the parks, which we're gonna kind of play as like a hidden Mickey seek and find uh, attempt, which I'm super stoked about. I, I don't know how it's gonna work, but we'll try it out. All right, let's see if we can get him to say a couple more things or sing or whatever. Gee, pal, know what Donald Duck and the Liberty Bell have in common? They both have a big quack in them. <laughs> <laughs> so so I, I actually tell a similar joke using quack as a punchline. And quack, quack gets used a ton of different times. Uh, and it's the same punchline joke using quack for crack. But it was, uh, why does Donald Duck have so many tail feathers? Give up to hide his butt quack. <laughs> but that's a good one. I, th I feel like I'm going to use um, that joke when I'm in Liberty Square like all the time. Which, fun fact, 
it was one of the very few times. I think there was only two times. Let me let me double check this and verify so I'm not spitting out fake news. And let's put some let's put some music back on. Let's put some frontier as I'm doing a little research here. I'm pretty sure that the uh, the Liberty Bell in Liberty Square is cast from the actual Liberty Bell or from the Freedom Bell. I don't know if there's any truth to that, but let me see. According to the urban lit myth, this is one of 50 replicas that were cast for the United States' 200th birthday. According to this myth, each state received a replica, but because Pennsylvania already has the original, Walt Disney World reached out and got one. All right, first of all, 50 re replicas of the original Liberty Bell were indeed cast, but not in honor of the country's 200th birthday. They were cast in 1950 as a way to promote U.S. Treasury bonds. Interesting. Second, the Liberty Bell that's on display at the Liberty Square is not a Pennsylvania replica. The state of Pennsylvania gave its replica to the Zion's United Church of Christ in Allentown, Pennsylvania in 1962 to honor them for housing the original Liberty Bell during the American Revolution. Oh, that's a fun fact. That's, I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's keep, keep going here. He explained that when the British were occupying Philadelphia, September 25th, 1777 to June 15th, 1778, all metal was being melted down and used for tools of war. The B Bell, now referred to as the original Liberty Bell from Pennsylvania State House, was brought to the Zion Church to keep it hidden from the British. All right, let's keep scrolling down. The Liberty Square Liberty Bell in Magic Kingdom was solely made for Walt Disney World. And according to Disney Fanatic, it was made in 1989 from the same mold as the original Liberty Bell. All right, so that is a supposed truth. I'm going to have to find out from like a Disney historian because this is coming from a website, but apparently from the same foundry, Picard Bell Foundry in, and I, I apologize, French folks, as I butcher this, Ancy Le Vu, France, as the replicas were made in 1950. So those 1950 cast replicas used the exact same mold, which is the mold from uh, the original Liberty Bell. So it was made... Uh, 39 years after those original 50 replicas were made, but from the same one that cast the original Liberty Bell. So there is truth to the Liberty Bell in Liberty Tree uh, having that. Danny, what's going on, dude? Stuff's in the mail, man. I don't know if you're checking your tracker, but you should be getting your, uh, your order soon, dude. So super, super appreciate it. He got himself one of our... Aloha Whip shirts, which are button downs uh, that we designed ourselves. It's got dull whips on it, and uh, and yeah, picked up one of those the other day. We do sell clothing, all the t-shirts, sunglasses, polarized sunglasses, twenty-two bucks. WalrusCarp.com. Walrus like the animal tusks, carp like carpenter, like from Alice in Wonderland. That's where we got our name. Huge Alice in Wonderland fan. Uh, best part of my day is actually hanging out and chatting with you guys. I'm having an awesome time uh, learning about Pal Mickey because I didn't know that you could play three different games with him. I didn't know there was 400, 400 locations with infrared, which means that there's got to be – because when I read off that list, there wasn't 400 items. So I'm guessing each place has more than one infrared sensor. So it's going to be very explorative. We're heading down July 19th, so – I will be bringing our pal Mickey with us so that we can uh, test out in the parks his little infrared nosy to see what is he going to tell us? What are we going to learn? So, yeah, pal Mickey. Ready for a quick quiz? How many stars are on the sorcerer's hat at Disney MGM Studios? Fifty. Six. Over three hundred. I mean, he, he has three. Six. I don't remember. Over 300. I don't. If you want me to repeat the question, squeeze my tummy. Let's get, let's stall here for How a second. How many stars are on the Sorcerer's Hat at Disney MGM Studios? 
Let me just see a picture of this. Six. Oh, there's not many. Not many. I'm going with six. Where was where was six? Six. Over three hundred. Oh, almost. So I don't know how to do two two. You gotta press his tummy so I don't know how to pick the middle choice. Hmm. But I'm guessing six. There looks like there's six here. So all right. Um let's see if we can find out how to answer Pal Mickey quiz buttons. I don't know what to type into Google, but that's what we're gonna attempt here. And look, how fitting. Totally didn't plan this. Uh, I just threw on the only Mickey shirt I had and I wasn't thinking about it, but come on, dude. I'm wearing Sorcerer Cupcake, which this was found at All Star Movies. This top was marshmallow cream and it had a marshmallow cream inside on a chocolate cupcake. And then this was like a blue royal icing with a blue fringe. And then this wrapper was just a wrapper. And then these two were little like chocolate wafers. Um, but this says annual snack holder. So, yep. All right, hang on. Let me find. Do, 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 do. Turn them on. Put them on a click. Okay. See if there's any other answers. Oh, this is kind of interesting. So, the way he first looked, and I'm going to share my screen again here for my YouTube friends. Um, his first, and I'll flip this around too so you guys can see. Give me one second. His first iteration, he had like a jacket on. And you know what? I'll show outfits too because I think you guys would really enjoy that. But you can see on his hands, his hands had these like crazy big blue actuator buttons. So I'm, I, it was on the bottom of his paw pads or gloves. I shouldn't say paw pads, but uh, da, 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 how it works. Squeeze one of his hands or his tummy within 15 seconds. Using infrared technology, Pal Mickey not only knows where he is in the parks, but he also knows where he's been, so he doesn't keep repeating the same piece of information. According to Linda Conrad, which I don't know Linda Conrad, oh, one of the Imagineers who worked on the toy, he has 700 pieces of information to share from everything on parade times. A sample of what Mickey might say, I hear Belle over in France about now. Let's go say hi. So that would tell you a character meeting. Interesting. But there there were iterations. I want to pull up. Let me uh, flip this camera real quick. I'm going to look up the different outfits that he had. So, how Mickey outfits. They're expensive, too. Like, on eBay, they're going for a lot of bucks. But he had some really cool ones. So, let's see. This should be showing them. All right, cool. Uh, let me flip you guys around so you guys can see all the outfits. So besides this Sorcerer Mickey outfit, which was the last version, right? He also had a Pirates of the Caribbean themed outfit. He had a Safari outfit, which I love that Safari one. That is really cool. I got to get all these outfits now. I'm such a sucker for this stuff. All right. The Pirates one. This is a pin trading one. So he has a, like a necklace or not a lanyard, a pin trading lanyard. This is, is that the pin trader one? Okay. This is a tuxedo one. So a tuxedo Mickey. What else? What else am I seeing? Oh, it was like a Mickey Mouse, uh, Mickey Mouse club. Oh, the poncho one is cool. This is a poncho one. So he's wearing like a, a Mickey or a Disney World poncho, which I think is cool. Dude, thanks for being one of our first uh, viewers there, Stuff. Appreciate it. Thank you for following us, checking up on all of our uh, all the stuff we have on here. All right, hang on. Let's go to eBay and let's see what they're selling for. Okay, $45 for the... Let's let's go on to this. Oh, it's gonna kick me out. It's not gonna show us. All right. So forty-five bucks gets you the rain slicker and the pirates outfit. 
And that's it. That's all they got. There's not many. Okay. Well, let me, let me view product details. I'll change the... Oh, it's cool. Cool. What's going on over here? All right. Hang on. Can we visit site? No, oh, I don't want it to open up a new tab because that's going to stop the stream. All right. Let's share again. And this time we'll go to eBay. Anybody else really like Frontierland's music? I am such a sucker for it. Rainware. That's what this is called. The Rainware. Which I think is pretty cool. Rainware. And it is cool. Like, I don't know. It's just fun. It's, all this stuff is fun. Let me type in Pal Mickey Outfits. I mean, I could just type in Pal Mickey if you guys are interested in picking up one. There's one for $24.95. There's a a Jack, Jack Sparrow is what they're claiming is the pirate costume. This is just saying pirate captain on it. Interesting. So pirate tuxedo, rain outfit. This is tour guide. I don't know why this is called a tour guide. He has a little, oh, he has a little camera. Okay. I'm guessing they just called him the tour guide, but he's not really a tour guide. Yeah, not a lot. Not a lot. So, like, if you want outfits, you got to scoop them and get lucky. I, I saw the rain stuff on here before for a cheaper price. I just missed out on it. I wonder, you know, it's totally random, but... Let's see if we can find this Walt Disney World mug. Which, if anything, this is just like a fun, if you need help with eBay, a good thing to do on eBay is to uh, look for stuff that has like now offering Walt Disney World's, let's look at, it's not really a mug, what would you call this thing? I mean, let me see if I can type in thermos or see if anything comes up. Thermos. Yeah, there we go. Thermos is a good language for that. Well, look at this one. This is really cool. Oh, and for $18.95, that's not bad. This is missing the top. See, I love this stuff. Like, it just is really cool looking. And I don't know what era this is from. But for $18.95 plus $5 shipping, they don't have a, a way to um, offer anything. So that's the price you're going to pay. It's probably the cheapest one. What else we got? Oh, here we go. You guys remember this TV show? Walt Disney's Wonderful World. It's like Jolly Roger, the monorail. It's pretty neat. Let's see what else we got. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So this is the exact same thermos style mug that I have, that Walt Disney World one. And so this is going for 99 cents with $11 shipping, which is expensive. And I definitely did not pay that price. Ooh. Uh, how about a, let's see, how about a zoom? It's going to make this bigger. How about a Country Bear Jamboree um, lunchbox? How cool is that with that thermos? $39.99, $15 shipping. That's expensive. But if you think of the nostalgia, and it's got some really cool old scenes on it. Jungle Cruise scene, Walt Disney World. Wait, are there two? Do you get two? Or is that the back of... Okay, that's the back side of this. Oh, look, it's got... um. 20,000 leagues with the giant, giant squid on there. Very cool. And the Nautilus. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. Uh, I got to get to work because I got a ton of stuff I have to do. Uh, but I figured, oh, yeah, yeah, 45, 45 seems pretty legit. 45 for what? For the, the ponchos? Yeah, I mean... 
for an outfit though, that's super expensive for like a plush outfit. I get it. It's discontinued. They haven't made these since 2014, but that's too much money, I think personally, but, um, but he's pretty cool and I'm excited to use him in the parks. Uh, so yeah, I got to sell a bunch of stuff and work on our website, work on some YouTubes, put out some more podcasts, more content. Um, make sure you follow us on TikTok, on Instagram, on uh, here on YouTube if you like, because we do live streams on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and it's all Walrus Carp. Just type in Walrus like the animal and Carp like Carpenter, and you'll find us for walruscarp.com for all your Disney snack clothing needs. My name is Kirk. You can reach me at K-I-R-K at walruscarp.com. Feel free to email me any questions about anything regarding Disney World, and I will help you out the best of my ability. Or feel free to DM me or leave a comment on this video, uh, and I will make sure to hook you up and help you out. So what's up, game day? Jeb, Jebby, what's cracking, dude? I just missed you. I'm actually jumping out of here, but I hope you have a great day, brother. Uh, there's a replay of this on YouTube that will be available. So make sure you jump onto YouTube and check it out because we kind of cataloged everything that my boy pal Mickey can do. And I'm super excited to try him out in the parks, which I will do an entire YouTube series, one for each park at least, if not two for each park, uh, because there's over 700 pieces of information and over 400 hidden interactive things. And based on all the rides that are there, I would love if Snow White's uh, Scary Adventures, Maelstrom, if they still had some of those details on there, that would just make it so, so much better. And I agree with you. I actually would love to get our girls some of these lunch boxes because they would be the coolest kids in kindergarten and preschool with some metal uh, old school thermoses and stuff just like super cool vintage the kids it, like the new school kids wouldn't even get what's going on they are insulated uh which is like new school stuff but maybe we could insulate them a different way but pretty affordable way to uh to relive nostalgia and a fun way that's why i love all the vintage stuff it's super affordable it's got great history and let's face it if we're buying it on ebay we're an adult so it's it just kind of makes it uh, an affordable, fun way to relive our memories and our adventures. So, yeah, really, really cool. Uh, make sure to check us out, Walrus Carp, on every type of social platform. If you like Disney history, if you like Disney fun facts, if you like just dad jokes in general, and then make sure to check out walruscarp.com for all of fun Disney swag, including our Disney snack holder shirt, which I'm wearing right here. So, you guys are the best. Super appreciate it. Let me pause this bad boy so I don't have to listen to an ad. And I uh, hope you guys have a magical evening. You're the best. Take care. Kurt, signing out. Laters.